to Jamit Kitchen. This is your host Kitcha, and today we have another unboxing. We have this huge package to unbox. I, I'm, I'm flooding with thoughts on what this can be, and the only way to find out is to open it up. So let's do this. My trusty scissors. Uh, they open it. Yeah, I've opened it. Yes. The most easiest opening. <laughs> yeah. And this side too. And the other side. And we are. Done. What do we have here? Geo Safari Motorized Solar System. Whoa. This looks super cool. This is a motorized solar system. It looks so cool. Let's take it out. It's by, it shows here educational insights. Just uh, amazing! I literally have no words to explain how cool this looks. As you can see, it's by Educational Insights. It is Geo Safari Motorized Solar System. Learn about planetary rotation. Transform your room into a planet room. It's so awesome. And I think there are even more features to this. Not only the eight planets. Here it's for ages eight and above. Well, I'm 10, so I officially am allowed to use it. Let's see the outside a little bit. Here, bring the solar system to life inside. Watch the, uh, the eight rotating planets and light up sun. Whoa, so the sun lights up in the dark. Project a star show on your ceiling. So if you're in your bedroom or just in a dark area, you can just turn on the light and the co a constellation or a star pattern will be shown on top, which will look so mesmerizing. So now let's just crack it open. Yeah. From here, just so satisfying doing this. Just ripping it open. Okay, so this is the box and now let's open it. So this one will teach us more about the solar system. So if you're in either, if you, like when you turn eight, grade, eight years old, in my school, they taught us about the solar system. And if I had this earlier, it would have been so much easier to just learn about the solar system. You know what? When I was six years old, I wanted to become an astronaut chef. And till now, I've still been pursuing a dream. You might ask, what is an astronaut chef? Well, an astronaut chef is a person who goes to cook in space. Either it can be in Mars, Moon, or even the space station, where I can cook. I can invent gadgets which will help me to cook in space, which is my ultimate goal. As you know, yucky space food, they'll have to dry it, take it to space, and then re. Uh, re what's that word, Papa? Re. Uh, you don't know. Uh, like, uh, rehydrate it. Yeah, hydrate it. So that it's not dry and yucky. So then, I think we've opened it. One more thing, you might ask, why do I want to do that? Well, it's because there'll be when when we grow up, when we the earth will be very full. That means there'll be many humans. Now itself, the population is growing. So when there's too much pe people on earth, people will, the humans will transfer uh, humans 
from Earth to space, moon, Mars, and many other planets. So most of them will not get yucky food. But then I will invent gadgets which will make it possible to cook in space. And I'll be a sh- well known chef in space. Oh, finally opened it. Here it is. It comes with a book, comes with an instruction manual. Um, I don't know what the. Oh, yeah, the planets. And the sun and the holder. Oh, yeah, there's some more, something else. There's also. It's raining cardboard. We have the sun stop. Ouch. And a constellation. I don't know what it is. I think this is for projecting the constellation onto the roof. But we've got all the parts. I'll tell them again. They have a guide which shows us how to set up the solar system constellation thing. The planets, I'll just take that out. I got some of the planets out. Got Neptune out, Earth out, Jupiter out, Saturn out. This is Mercury. It's the closest planet to the Sun. And it's just an iron ball. But it's a solid planet, not a gas planet. This is Venus, the hottest planet in the solar system. Then we have our little Earth. I don't think Earth needs any explanation, but then it's the only planet in the solar system to contain life. And here's a tiny moon. Very tiny moon. Then we have Mars. Mars is called the red planet. It has lots of volcanoes and hills. It has some of the, I think the biggest volcanoes and biggest hills. Then we have after Mars, Jupiter. Jupiter, it's the most, one of the, Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. There's a huge red spot where an outraging storm has been for around uh, 400 years. I'm not sure that's true, but still. I think it's around 400 years. Then Saturn. It is known for its big rings. That to um, Jupiter and Saturn are gas planets. And then you have Uranus. Yeah, Uranus. It's, it's a blue planet like Neptune. It is a gas planet. And it's mostly sea, mostly water. And Neptune. It is the farthest planet from the sun, and same as Uranus, it's water. It is the first planet of the sun, and there was Pluto, but then 2009 they cancelled it. So we've got all the planets here. Now let's set it up. But first, there are two lists. One is for the constellations. Let's just put it on and show you. This is for the constellations, and this is just. A sun for the sun. Wait a minute. It says motorized, but where do we put the batteries? Hmm. Papa, it doesn't include batteries. Do you have batteries? Yes, teacher. Okay, then please give. How many? Four double Thanks. Can you get the screwdriver? It's a Phillips, I think. Phillips. Is this Phillips? Um, I don't know my screwdrivers. Can we got this open? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we just take these batteries. Oh, 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 oh. Now we just open it. Uh, negative positive. This is the other way. Okay, negative positive. Okay, we have tightened it. Now the batteries are ready. Does it work? Yes, it works. Now let's set up. Take the manual and set it up. This one is for Mercury. Now where's Mercury? It's short one. This 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 one. Okay. It's pretty big. So let me switch it on and see. Whoa! Whoa, it's glowing! But let's off the lights. You can see it's light. 
lighting up. Looks so, so cool. I come from the sun and everything else is dark, like pitch black. Uh, not pitch black, a little light. So as you can see, the phenomenon happening here is that it's very dark in space. Normally it's really dark. But then the sun gives a lot of light. So if there was no sun, there would be no light. For Earth, it takes 8 minutes for the light to reach Earth. As we, the Earth, are very lucky to be in the Goldilocks zone. Now, there's another cap I want to show you. It is the constellation light. This is for lots of constellations in the air. Just take it off. Put this on. Now, let's just see. Of all the lights. Wow! Oh, it looks so mesmerizing. How it came was remarkable and amazing. As you know, like whenever you go to a planetarium, oh, we, you can always see a star show on top. You can see all the stars. It's so amazing. It's like a replica of it, just a home edition. As there's a blue light which ejects it out of the roof. And you can see all the constellations. And it just looks so mesmerizing. I could just look at it for hours. It's so amazing. Well, how to do it is you should put dim lights, change it from this yellow cap into a black cap which is uh, with all these holes showing the constellations and it will eject out of the screen thanks to this blue light. So then we have all the planets, it shows how it moves around the sun and it's just a super awesome replica of the solar system. If you want to study about the solar system, Education Insights Geo Safari Motorized Solar System is the best set for you. Thank you for watching Jam with Kicha. See you later.